What is sustainability? Sustainability is being able to conserve and share Earth's resources, like water, energy, and materials, so we can all enjoy our planet. Think of Earth as a batch of cupcakes. Yum! If we use only what we need, there will be enough for everyone else to share and be happy. Just as ingredients are needed to make delicious cupcakes, there are other resources from the Earth that we need to conserve and share. Let's learn more and what it means to be a Sust Kid. Earth is our home, but it is also home to many other living things that might need air, water, food, and the sun to survive. Living things are people, like friends, family, and strangers. This also includes plants, animals, and insects. Big or small, we are all an important part of the ecosystem, this home we call Earth. Seed become plants and trees. Trees give fruits and leaves. Fruits and leaves give to communities. All living things need a place to grow, and some of them are found on farms. Hi. Hi there. I'm James. And I'm Jim. And, and we're, we're scarecrows. scarecrows. We're made of straw and old stuff. We stay on a farm and watch over the crops. But we're not here to scare you. Just the birds. We're here to tell you about how fun a farm can be. The farm is a place where you can find food. Like fruits and vegetables. It's a place where you can find animals. Like goats and chickens. A farm is where you can find a lot of love and grub. Visit your local farm today. Speaking about food, is plastic food? And would you ever feed plastic to your pets? Of course not. Sometimes animals mistake plastic as food. They eat the plastic and get sick. Ugh, I think I had too much plastic for lunch. That's the worst, man. Scientists have discovered that plastic goes deep into the marine ecosystem. Some of it floats on top of the water, while others go deep at various levels. Once floating plastic leaves land, surface currents can transport it to one of the oceanic gyres, massive, slow-rotating whirlpools that draw in debris. Over time, UV rays from the sun weaken the plastic through a process called photodegradation. Recognizable items like bottles and containers can crumble into plastic bits. Scientists call these bits microplastics, which are found to adsorb toxic chemicals. Contaminated microplastics mix with plankton to create a sort of plastic soup. Wildlife eats the soup, taking in all the chemicals within the plastics. Scientists are currently researching the effects of toxic chemicals that may be bioaccumulating up the food chain. If there's like plastic bags in the oceans, like it kills the fish, they'll choke on it and then pretty much die. If the water is all polluted, we'd all die because we have, we have no more water to survive. No living thing should eat plastic. Even plastic from a desert can be carried into the ocean by wind or river. Let's keep the fish happy and our oceans clean. Don't let plastic pollute our world. Sustainability is also known as being eco-friendly by reducing, reusing, and recycling materials wherever you are. Reduce. Use only what you need and don't waste stuff. Turn off lights and faucets when you don't need them. If we use energy from the sun, we can reduce our use of electricity. Instead of turning on a light switch, use some sunshine to brighten a room. Using a solar oven is a great way to harness the power of the sun. Solar oven materials are used to reflect, absorb, and trap radiant energy. You can reuse a pizza box to build your own solar oven. Coal is bad for the environment, so we're making solar ovens to warm things up, and it will be better for the environment. Solar ovens, you see, they conserve energy, and that's very important nowadays. So when the sun goes away, that's going to be a problem, but right now it's good. We're making s'mores. <laughs> Use your solar oven between 10 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon for best results. Once your oven gets hot enough, it will cook your food. Uh. 
no, no, no. Now that's a solar oven that works. Reuse. There is something even better than recycling. Reusing. Try reusing something like a non-disposable water bottle to prevent waste. You can also repurpose cardboard and other materials to make fun art projects. Grow mini gardens out of used plastic food containers. Follow these smart indoor gardening tips when using plastic. Find the triangle recycling code at the bottom of the food container you will use. Only use number one, two, four, or five plastics. Never use number three PVC, six, and seven plastics as they can pollute your garden. Don't let your container get too hot. Heated plastics are harmful to plants and humans. Plant your seeds in dark, rich soil and use compost if you can. Water and give seeds and plants sunshine so they can grow strong. Recycle your container after your plants have grown. Once your food sprouts, you can harvest it for a fun snack. Manufacturers combine oil, chemicals, and dyes at high temperatures to create huge molecules called polymers. Under a high-powered microscope, plastic molecules resemble long strands of cooked spaghetti, each noodle entangled with the others. These long polymer strands do not biodegrade because they are too large to be consumed by microorganisms. Since nature cannot digest this man-made material, the plastic we throw away never truly goes away. Hey, what is he doing here? I think we may have gone too far this time. The ranger's not going to like this one. Sorry, I was meant to be recycled. Plastic in the environment is just awkward. So what usually happens to our trash when we are done with it? In most cases, whatever is not recycled gets taken to landfills by trash collectors. Landfills are giant trash piles that stink and can take up a lot of space. In some landfills, people use giant trucks to compact everyone's trash, then cover it with dirt. This helps to keep things from flying away into the environment. If items like plastic containers and packages are recycled, they won't end up in the landfill. Sustainability is keeping the earth clean by recycling. Recycle things like plastic, paper, and other items instead of throwing them away. When we recycle, items are taken to the recycling plant where plastic and other materials are sorted by machines and people. After items like plastic, paper, pans are sorted and compacted, they are ready to be used again to make other products. We use reusable water bottles because um, if they're recyclable, then you could just reuse them over and over again. I think the environment could be cleaner, but that's just because of us. And I think life would be pretty boring if we just like were in buildings and on electronics every day. Up in the atmosphere, there's a lot of carbon dioxide, and I want to prevent that from happening. There's the plastic or something in the street, and I usually go and pick it up. Recycling is really um, important. We need our earth clean. Everybody needs to recycle. What do you guys think about renewable energy? It's, it's really it. cool because you can yeah. use energy yeah. over and over again. Sometimes trash can be turned into treasure. A group of kids from Paraguay formed a recycled orchestra with instruments made out of trash from the neighborhood landfill in Quetura. Fabio Chavez and Nicolas Gomez took pieces from the pile of junk and began making instruments for poor kids living in the neighborhood. Instead of playing in the landfill, kids learned how to play music and called their orchestra the Landfill Harmonic. Now the orchestra is full of more members where kids learn how to play and build their own instruments. The Landfill Harmonic took trash and turned it into a musical treasure for many. Sustainability means making a difference no matter who you are or where you live. Whether you conserve resources, make a fun project, or play a recycled instrument, you can make the world a happier place for everyone to share. This is sustainability.